Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Ha Rekakwadash Ma'ama. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone and the elders. Double honors to my elder as well, Ahawan Ban Yasha'ala of the Lion's Den Camp. And salutations to the fellow Akim, Awafim, and children that believe in truth and in sincerity. It's your brother, I thank Yahweh, back to another lesson. And Yahweh Ratazah is edifying. And service purpose to the hopeful elect. All right, now I just want to double in and start off in uh, Romans 15 and verse 20. All right, concerning uh, a building build, bu building upon another man's foundation. All right, because Paul was an example of that. All right, you know, uh, Paul had a different office, you know, ultimately. All right, and this is Romans 15 and 20. Yeah. So have I striven to preach the gospel, not where Yahweh Shah Mashiach was named, lest I should build upon another man's foundation, right? You know, something you shouldn't do, you know, building upon another man's foundation, but um, mainly pertaining to this uh, topic or this lesson, all right? Paul understood that he had a different office, all right? Paul, once persecuting Israelites for keeping the law, being woke up, by the Most High Himself, all right, getting knocked off the horse, you know, um, being called, all right, sent out, being an apostle to the Gentiles, man, you know, and the, the, the term apostle means to be sent out, all right, he was sent out to the Gentiles, meaning the spiritual Gentiles, the Israelite foreigners that were scattered abroad amongst other nations, all right, not knowing that they were Israelites, all right, as Paul was himself, okay. So this Romans 15 and 20, yeah. So I have striven to preach the gospel, not where Yahweh Shah Mashiach was named, right? The, like, you know, the foundation, you know, uh, where Peter and them, right? Lest I should build upon another man's foundation, right? You know, he'll be building upon their foundation if he was to take what the portion and the wisdom that the Lord gave him and set up where, where Peter and them was, all right? And it will cause confusion. Because, hey, Paul was woke up to uh, merge things together, man. You know, through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. Now, from there, I want to go to the book of Romans, all right, to uh, further prove that, you know, because, hey, Paul woke up to the realization that he was an Israelite himself. And this is Romans 9 and verse 1. I say the truth in Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. I lie not. My conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Spirit. That I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. For I could wish that myself were a curse from Yahweh Shah Mashiach for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. Right. You know, Paul himself wished he could uh, be persecuted, you know, as a as, hey, no servant is greater than his master. You know, just as our, our, our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah, was persecuted for his brethren, you know. According to the flesh, you know, because through a through your bloodline of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. You know, we bear witness that we are the true Israelites of the Bible, you know, the true biblical Jews pertaining to the southern kingdom and the Israelites pertaining to the northern kingdom. man. You know that we are the true people of uh, the, the true descendants of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, man, due to the curses, you know, and due to the, uh, the bloodline and the seed of our father. You know, fathers, fathers going back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, ultimately, if you're a so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American, all right, and Seminole Indian, and those are the speckled bird who may look like the other nations, but bear the same spirit as such, you know? So Paul, he, 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 he wished he was a curse too for his brethren, according to the flesh, verse four, who are Israelites, con, to whom pertaineth the adoption, right, the promises, all right, the adoption, as sons, right, through Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and the glory, the kingdom, right, the brooks of honey, and the covenants, man, the law, statutes, and commandments, man, which is only given to our forefathers in the wilderness, all right, where the Lord, they took us out of that first Egypt, you know, and the giving of the law, and the service of Yahweh, and the promises, who are, whose are the fathers, and of whom, as concerned the flesh, Yahweh Shah Mashiach came, right? Because he didn't come and die for everybody. You know, he, he died for his flesh, 
all right? His kinsmen, you know, which are the Israelites, man. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. And that's a conspiracy and a controversy throughout the four corners of the earth, man, you know? Pertaining to what? Hosea chapter 4, you know? And two-thirds of our people are destroyed for that lack of knowledge of knowing who they are, man. They think they're black. They think they're African, all right? Everything under the sun other than being an Israelite. All right. Just yesterday was marching in a Martin Luther King parade. All right. Which that is totally against the scriptures, man. To join hand in hand with these heathens, man. The Lord is about separation. Ultimately, even so that he woke up the apostle Paul to wake up the Israelites that were scattered amongst these other nations to bring them back in to the fold, man. Because it's, it's that time. All right. It's that time for us to rule, man. You know, what Kwam Yasharala, man, you know. From now, I want to go to Romans 11 and 1. And it reads, I say then, have Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shah, cast away his people? Yahweh forbid. For I also am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham, of the tribe of Benjamin. Con. You know, so hey, <laughs> there, go, there you go, man. Apostle Paul tell you that he's, a, he's, he's also an Israelite, man. You know, being, hey, being woken up to that realization, man. You know, as well as being sent out to the uh, Gentiles, the spiritual Gentiles, you know, those who were born um, in other lands, not knowing they're Israelites. All right. But ultimately, a hey, Paul understood that he had a different office, man. You know, he didn't build upon another man's foundation. You know, ultimately, it shows humility, respect, you know, you know, and ultimately how you're moved through the spirit. You move through. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, whether it's for good or for bad, you know, it's not your own, you know, self will or why you do things. All right. From now, I want to go to the book of Acts. Chapter 28. In verse 30, and Paul dwelt two whole years in his own hired house and received all that came in unto him. Huh? You know, hey, because it's, it's, it's about truth and, and sincerity. You know, you have brothers that teach out there by themselves, man. You know, ultimately, it's not to be seen by men, but it's ultimately to do the work, man. You know, to acknowledge the Lord, kiss the son, lest he be angry, man. We perish from the way, you know, roughly paraphrasing. We have Psalms 2 and 10. Okay, so hey, ultimately we're out there to uh, hey, acknowledge the father, man, you know, to thank him for the things that he's done for us, man, to lay his life down for us, man, for us to be alive today and have grace and have mercy. Right. As well as a hey, hope, hoping to save ourselves, man, out of this, uh, hey, out, of, out of the lamentations, mornings and woe that's written. Right. So hey, ultimately, a hey, Paul dwelt two whole years in his own hired house and received all that came in unto him man, through the spirit. All right. You know, a gain in his fruit, you know, doing what the Lord instructed him to do, you know, through the spirit. So ultimately, it's about what a hey, letting patience have its perfect works. Right. You know, if you're true, if you're really true and sincere about what you do, you know, fruit eventually will come. You know, from now, I want to go to Salaki. Let me see if that's all I got on that. I read verse 31, preaching the kingdom of Yahweh by Shimei Yahweh and teaching those things which concern the Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach with all confidence, no man forbidding him. Right. Because if you do it in truth and in sincerity, who can stop you? You know, being given this truth, no, no one man can take you out of this truth, man. You know, hey, the kingdom was within you. All right. But from there, I want to go to the book of Philippians, chapter 4 and verse 17. And it reads, Not because I desire a gift, but I desire fruit that may abound to your account. You know, so it's not about Paul receiving a gift, but it's about, hey, each one teach one, man. You know, as you give me a blessing, the Lord's going to bless you, vice versa. You know, it's all in sync. But he's speaking to the uh, Philippians. All right. In a uh, church of Thessalonia, you know, pertaining to um, them requiring tithes. All right. And I read up. This is verse. I read up the verse. 15. 
Now ye Philippians know also that in the beginning of the gospel, when I departed from Macedonia, no church communicated with me as concerning giving and receiving, but ye only. For even in Thessalonia, ye sent once and again unto my necessity, not because I desire a gift, but I desire fruit that may abound to your account. Con, not that, that, that you want to receive and, and, and receive and, and be in prosperity. All right. But ultimately, is is a what you gain is is, is 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 gain to the Lord, man, pertaining to fruit, doing the work of the Lord. You know. You want to have profitable fruit if you do go out there and teach. All right. And most importantly, a not lay on another man's foundation, man, you know, because that a what that shows what you're not really moved through the spirit for for for, for good, but for uh, envy and strife, you know. Not more so of for edification, but to be seen by men, you know. But from there, I want to go to uh, Galatians. Chapter two, and I start at verse 11 and it reads, but when Peter was came to Antioch, I withstood him to the face because he was to be blamed. And this is Paul speaking. All right. For before that certain came from James, he did eat with the Gentiles. But when they were come, he withdrew and separated himself, fearing them which were of the circumcision. And the other Jews disassembled likewise with him, insomuch that Barnabas also was carried away with their dissimulation. But when I saw that they walked not uprightly according to the truth of the gospel, I said unto Peter before them all, If thou, being a Jew, livest after the manner of Gentiles, and not as do the Jews, why compellest thou the Gentiles to live as do the Jews? We who are Jews by nature and not sinners to the Gentiles. Con, I'm just bringing this out because Paul writings is, it can't be understood to, to, to the, the feeble minded, man. You know, the, those, hey, these other ABCD camps, the Sakari, you know, you know, pertaining to the law. You know, those who uh, preach the law, they got, they're going to have to live by the law and be, they're going to be debtors to do the whole law, as the scriptures say. All right. So you're going to have to practice what you preach. In other words, you know, if you preach law and that's your doctrine, you're going to have to keep all laws. And that's what you're going to have. That's what you're going to be measured by and be saved by. Well, you're not going to be saved by keeping the law ultimately. <laughs> so that's what you're going to be measured by, you know, and you saying that you can keep the law perfectly as you saying that you don't need to have a shot. All right. So this is the understanding of, of Paul understanding that he had a different office. To teach the, the, the Gentiles scattered abroad, you know, versus Peter and the foundation, knowing that they're Israelites, you know, um, upholding the law of circumcision, you know, so on and so forth. You know, but this right here, a hey, Paul, when you go and understand Paul's writing, it, it clearly debunks the whole law, law, law doctrine, you know, that these IUICs, these, uh, Sakari's preach, you know. You know, we ought to establish the law, but you can't keep the law 100% here on this side. All right. Esau has created a whole system to deprive you from that. All right. So you're going to be saved through faith. All right. You know, so a Paul is an example of that different office in, 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 the, in, the, in the difference in the merging of the two. All right. This is Galatians 2 and 14. I read it from the top. But when I saw that they walked not uprightly according to the truth of the gospel, I said unto Peter before them all, con, because this is basically Paul cutting Peter, so to speak, in, in, in regards to, because when you go back to the book of Acts, and I'm going to hold that right quick. 15, all right? And I'll start at verse 7, I believe. It says, and when there had been much disputing, Peter rose up and said unto them, men and brethren, because when Paul went to the foundation, man, after uh, 
after years of doing the work, he ended up going to the foundation to, you know, exercise it and ultimately finding out and coming to the conclusion that he was called for a different office. All right. And this is Acts 15 and 7. And when there had been much disputing, Peter rose up and said unto them, men and brethren, you know how that a good while ago, Yahweh made choice among us that the Gentiles by my mouth should hear the word of the gospel and believe. And Yahweh, which knoweth the hearts, bear them witness, giving them the Holy Spirit, even as he did unto us, kind. And put no difference between us and them purifying their hearts by faith, Khan. Now, therefore, why tempt ye God? You know, why tempt ye Yahweh? Why Yahweh shy? To put a yoke upon the neck of the disciples, which neither our fathers nor we were able to bear. But we believe that through the grace of the Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, we shall be saved even as they, Khan. You know, they, they through the law of circumcision or the law of faith, you know, it all coincides and works together, man. You don't have one without the other. All right. You are to practice the law and establish the law. All right. Rehearse the righteous acts while having faith. You know that the Lord is going to send his son. You have a shy to fulfill the law. All right. As is written. So we go back to the book of Galatians. Chapter 2. And I want to say I was in verse 14. But when I saw that they walked not uprightly according to the truth of the gospel, I said unto Peter before them all, If thou, being a Jew, livest after the manner of Gentiles, and not as do the Jews, why compellest thou the Gentiles to live as do the Jews? Right, because Peter was, was eating and something, something with the, the Gentiles. You know? But when James came in all right they he he had respect of persons verse 15 we who are jews by nature and not sinners of the gentiles knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law but by the faith of yahweh shah mashiach even we have believed in yahweh shah mashiach that we might be justified by the faith of Yahweh Shah Mashiach, and not by the works of the law, for by the works of the law shall no flesh be justified. Come on, because it's impossible to keep the law 100%, you know, on this side, all right? That's why we need that uh, stony heart turned into a fleshly heart, you know, roughly paraphrasing. You know, we need that new body, the new covenant, where we never go go off again. The laws go be within our inward parts. All right, where well, that's gonna make us perfect, man. We need Yahweh Shah. All right, and it's ultimately why hey, Paul's writings are hard to understand. All right, even uh, I want to say Sakari going back, they didn't believe in the Book of Hebrews. All right, so we, we're uh, you know, we we the eyes down here, man. You know, we don't really forget nothing. You know, the water Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. All right, they all gotta be brought to the table and exercise, man. You know. Because ultimately, hey, Paul had a different office, man. And uh, hey, that was just a quick example of hey, that different office, man. You know, from the foundation of them knowing that they're Israelites to those who were scattered abroad and being grafted in. All right. And I want to get Romans 11 and 15. Because Paul, you couldn't tell Paul nothing about the law. <laughs> he persecuted the Israelites for keeping the law. You couldn't tell nothing about. You couldn't talk to Paul about the law. You know, and that's why a Paul was an example of, of of humility, man. You know, and understanding. You know, and he didn't boast against the branches. And this is Romans eleven, verse fifteen. For if the casting away of them be the reconciling of the world, what shall the receiving of them be but life from the dead. Verse 16, for if the first fruit be holy, the lump is also holy. And if the root be holy, so are the branches, kind. And if some of the branches be broken off, and thou, being a wild olive tree, were grafted in among them, and with them partakers of the root and fatness of the olive tree, kind. 
Boast not against the branches, but if thou boast, thou bearest not the root, but the root thee, con. You know, because you got to understand that you was once in that Gentile state of mind. All right. And without the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, you'll still be going off. So boast not against the branches. You know, and so hey, if you have a doctrine of keeping the law, keeping the law, keeping the law, all right, you have no balance. All right, and the false balance is an abomination to the Lord, man. You are a technically abomination to the Lord, all right, and you're making the people heavy Latin, you know, a making them, giving them the misconception of they have to keep the whole law, right? Which they do, but they can't do it on this side. So you have to give them that understanding that they are to practice it and keep it to the best of their ability, but through faith and through Yahweh Shad. Is where they're going to be perfect and be made perfect, man. And through their works and through their faith is what's going to lead them to, to the safe haven, man. And the good gracious, man, of, of, of that. All right? You know, so, hey, don't boast against the branches, man. Because you were once in derision. All right? Being in this captivity. All right? The second Egypt. You know, the Lord hid his face from us for a while, man. You know? This verse 19, thou will say then, and it's Romans 11 and 19. Thou will say then, the branches were broken off that I might be grafted in. Come on, and that's what Esau say today. All right. <laughs> Thinking they can come in to the fold and the Lord changed something, man. The Lord, ain't, he changed not, you know. Ye, hey, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed, man. Roughly paraphrasing. You know, it's, it's, it's not a way for the heathen to get in, but ultimately the, the, the Israelites that that fell from the way, you know, who 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 were scattered abroad, man, not knowing that they're Israelites. So this is back in Romans 11 and 19. Thou will say then the branches were broken off that I might be grafted in. Well, because of unbelief, they were broken off and thou standest by faith. Be not high minded, but fear, you know. So be not high-minded, but fear, man. Rejoice, rejoice, rejoice with fear and trembling, man. Roughly paraphrasing, all right? Yahweh Ratazada's lesson was edifying. Shalom, Mahavatha, and DTA.